All right, guys. So, uh, One Piece chapter nine oh six, the Holy Land, um, Mary Joas, um, which is now spelled with a G, which is kind of cool. Um, so that dropped last night, and it was a pretty good chapter. Um, crazy ending, which I'm sure like everyone's been talking about. Um, but there's a lot of stuff to like, and there's some stuff that I really didn't like of this chapter. Well, I mean, not really didn't like, but just stuff that, like, I could have gone really without them, without Oda really going into it. So, like, for starters, what I really liked, the cover page with Orlumbus and Columbus, which I'm assuming is his uh, first mate. Um, that was really kind of funny to see him, like, still being that OCD kind of freak and everything like that. Um, and then Columbus, like seeming like the, uh, you know, the enforcer of all the rules and being, like, more of, like, a, like, beat up badass. I don't know. It's just, like, really funny. I like when Oda, like, like, last week's cover page, I like the, uh, him folding his pajamas, even though most people, like, said it was trash. I thought it was funny. Um, so, I like that. I like seeing how, like, Mary Joas, like, they utilize the slaves. I know that sounds, like, bad, but, like, I mean whenever we saw, like, the Boa sisters and Fisher, Fisher Tiger and all that stuff, like, we just, like, I don't know, for the Boa sisters, it always seemed like they were slaves just based on their looks, and they were given, like, the devil fruits to, you know, like, perform, like, shows and stuff. So, we've only been, like, shown the slave stuff, not as, like, labor. So, it's cool to see them, and I know that sounds like, bad and everything, but it's cool to see how the slaves are, like, used to, like, um, move that, that traveling conveyor belt, you know, like, airplane, um, like, thing, you know, like, how you just stand on there and, like, one of those, like, like, I forget the word, like, escalator, not escalator, because that goes up, but you know what I'm talking about, um, so that was, like, interesting to see that and how, you know, that one, um, slave was like, please free me, or if you can't free me, just, like, kill me, you know, like, this is just torture, and then the, uh, the guy, like, commanding the slaves, or, like, you know, in, in charge of them, he was, like, wearing the same stuff as, uh, um, the guys in, um, uh, Tequila Wolf, where Robin was sent to and then saved by the revolutionaries, um, so, I think that is going to be, like, the, those are, like, the, I guess, like, the foot soldiers of, um, the Celestial Dragons, who, if it does come down to a, a single battle between the Revolutionary Army and, um, the Celestial Dragons, then those are going to be, like, the fodder units that, you know, like, we'll see, like, people like Bello Betty just, like, you know, take out, like, 50 of them at once, you know, and, like, morally just, like, you know, just the fodder stuff. So, that was, that was interesting. I like that. Um, I like all the, the, um, the Shirahoshi and, uh, um, her brother Fuku, Fukubashi, Fukuboshi, um, all the, those, like, interactions. And I liked how he, Fukuboshi, like, was like, yeah, like, this is, I sent something kind of messed up here. Um, so all that stuff was cool, and then seeing that Carlos, um, Charlos or whatever, that, you know, piece of crap, uh, um, Celestial Dragon, like, kind of looking from afar and having his eyes on Shirahoshi, which is, you know, it's been talked a lot in the community about that Shirahoshi's going to be captured, you know, by, uh, by somebody, and, um, you know, it's being played up a lot that her looks are, um, you know, or she's just stunning and everything like that, and how um, she's beyond expectations of people. So, um, going to be really interesting when, because we know that Charlos is going to come up, and he's going to be like, "Yeah, I want, I want her. Like, she's going to be my, you know, one hundredth wife, you know, or something like that. You know, like just to have her like in a case and and that kind of stuff. Which I hope she doesn't get taken away, but she probably will, and. I don't know, that's like a whole, there's so much stuff going on right now that I could see, like, Luffy getting involved with, but I I kind of want them to, like, you know, re reunite with the, I don't see them, I don't see Luffy where he's at right now 
coming to Mary Joas. Um, I see him just going to Wano, you know, like there's no reason all this stuff is going to happen. And yeah, he's so out of the loop, but <clears throat> so, um, I liked when, when Psy came up, um, after, uh, you know, we get the reunion of, um, Vivi, Rebecca, and, um, well, it's not really a reunion for them, but we, we just get to see them again. Uh, we see all them and they're like fangirling over Luffy, um, which something that kind of bugged me and I've been seeing a lot of people talk about it recently, um, is Rebecca and Vivi look so similar and it's just their hairstyles that are different. Like when they're right next to each other, I think it's on page, um, like, let me see what page it's on. It's on page, on Jiminy's box, page 11. At the bottom left-hand corner, when they're like, so are we, and they have their thumbs up, they're like, yeah. Um, yeah, j they just like, if, I mean, their nose is kind of different, but if you just had them bald and put them next to each other, it's like the same face. And sure, Hoshi's the same way. Like, it's the eyes, the mouth. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. I just kind of wish that Oda would like incorporate better uh, female designs. You know, like just more unique. Um, not enough, because like I mean, you look at Sai, and Sai's face is like so unique compared to everybody else. Like it's so long, and like um, it's got the sideburn sideburns down. Um, and what I liked about Sai coming back is, uh, um, you know, he's the the leader of the. Uh, um, Hapo Navy, and, um, he's talking about how, like, after this, um, he's thinking about leaving his country, so, it'd be interesting to see what, you know, Don Qingzhou or, like, some of the other, like, leaders of the country think about that, and how that will, like, affect it, and, I don't know, I don't think it's gonna be too big, but I just thought that was a cool little add-on, um, seeing Dalton again was cool, and Dr. Kreha, I really, I thought it was funny how the, uh, the Lappin, uh, behind Kareha, um, is wearing, like, the, the chopper hat, you know, like, the, with the, the antlers and stuff, I thought that was, like, really funny, and, yeah, curious to see if the, if it's, that the Lappin is a fan of Chopper, or if it's, um, Kareha, just like, all right, if you're gonna be my bodyguard, you're gonna carry on my booze, and everything like that, you're gonna wear this, like, hat, or if it's, like, a military uniform, because, like, Dalton, because he's, like, wearing, like, the similar clothes to Dalton, like, that same belt and everything like that. But that was cool. Um, something I didn't like is the the recap stuff. Like, when Vivi came back, it was, like, Vivi's tri trivia. Um, you know, it was, like, uh, and Wapool came in. It's, like, Wapool's trivia. All that stuff. Like, I think we all know. You know, like, we know what these people are. The only thing, like, the Wapool thing that added, like, the... Uh, um, the thing about him, like, a, like a starting a new country and, like, founding it and stuff, which, like, we kind of saw already in those cover pages. It's been a while since I read those, but, yeah, like, I don't know. It was just already, we, we've seen that, you know? So, I just feel like it's wasting space, wasting panel space, but I'm not too mad at it because, like, this chapter was still really good. And then, finally, what's the, just the hypest is, uh, we see Doflamingo laying on his back on, uh, in Impel Down, and I don't know if Magellan is there, or if he's just, like, kind of saying, like, in general, because, like, Doflamingo, I mean, even though Magellan isn't the, uh, chief warden anymore, like, he's the most powerful, in tr like, of the staff there, so, you know, it's Doflamingo, like, kind of recognizing that. Um, he's, like, talking about how, um, are they going to send a, like an assassin here, like to, to impel down to shut me up and talking about like the secret treasure that is hidden under, um, Mary Joas and that it's, uh, something that it's, he says, isn't it fine to reveal what it is already? Power degrades quickly. Anyway, it rots away in no time at all. So, <clears throat> then we cut to Mary Joas, and we see, like, somebody walking up these, like, stairs, 
or are they walking up? No, they're walking downstairs. Um, holding two bounty posters. One's Luffy. Other one, no idea. Um, and walking through like this vault, and it looks like I can't tell if it's like just cold or if it's like just super dusty in there. Um, I think it's dusty because like having it be cold. I don't know. Unless like those others, because there's all these pipes and everything behind that door. Um, if that has to play with it at all or anything like that. Um, so we see like this person who they've got this big crown on it, on their head and yeah, the, like the, the design, their like silhouette is very, very unique, very weird. And we just see it like a straw hat, just like sitting there, like covered in dust or ice. I'm pretty sure it's dust. And they're, I mean, the, the hat is huge because if we're, we're using the, uh, the wanted posters for scale and, you know, they're not going to print the, the world government or the economic times, whatever, are not going to print like mini ass, like wanted posters, you know? So like, that's a good comparison. And yeah, we see like this, just the straw hat. And I mean, there's talk of like, who could, who's, could it be, um, you know, it's not Rogers because we saw that Roger gave it to Shanks. Shanks gave it to Luffy, even though we didn't see it. Like, I mean, it's obvious that that's what happened. Um, but some people have been talking that it could be Joy Boy. Is it could be his hat, um, which could be kind of cool, and that goes into like the whole like, you know, destruction of, um, of. Uh, Fishman Island because of like uh Madame Shirley talked about the destruction would come from like a man wearing a straw hat. Which I think which uh Dritz the theorist just dropped a, a theory video about that. Um so yeah, I don't know. I just I'm excited for it, but I'm also kinda worried because I like the idea I I don't know, I like the idea that like there's something like bigger planned with the hat, but at the same like I'm worried about it because I also like just the straw hat being just like a a random like article of clothing that is just like symbolic of like hey you know Shanks gives it to Luffy as in like a you know I you're my friend I want you to grow and be strong like this is something you can like give back to me when you are like a amazing pirate and stuff like that, you know, so I hope it doesn't give anything. I don't think there's any like power that's given with the hat. I don't know. I just, I'm, I'm very, I'm curious to see, I'm holding, um, holding back my, um, you know, whether I think it's like trash or not because of, uh, you know, we, we just have to see, we have to see where it goes. Unfortunately, I don't think it's going to, I think it's going to be one of those things where we're not going to get the answer in 907 <clears throat> or really anytime soon. Um, maybe we will, but I, I just highly doubt that. Um, I think it's going to be one of those things where past a ch a chapter a thousand, like we're going to get something, you know, like a hundred chapters later, Luffy runs into somebody, which is also like weird because like if it is something that powerful, like the straw hat, or it's that symbolic, I can't remember anyone like um, Doflamingo or when Luffy encountered the celestial dragons on uh, Saba Odi, where they uh, they said something, you know, regarding the hat. I'm like, oh my, that's straw hat, Luffy. Like, that's a straw hat. I don't know, maybe they don't know about it, maybe like the Celestial Dragons, but Doflamingo certainly did, and I don't re recall him ever, like, making a, a point about it. I have to go back and reread, but I don't know, it's, uh, it's very curious, I, the size thing is also, like, very weird, of why it's, like, so large, which goes into the, the, the reasoning of why it's not Gold, Gold, uh, Goldie Rogers. Because, like, it's just a huge hat, you know, and I don't think we know the size of Joy Boy, um, so, 
yeah, it's just, I thought this was a very good chapter. Um, besides the recap stuff, which I kind of give it somewhat of a pass, but um, very good chapter. Uh, no sign that we're on break next week. Um, oh, next week is actually like the start of, you know, the reverie of like people sitting down. Um, or maybe we get like a focus in on the, you know, revolutionary armies, like their plan and stuff like that of like what they kind of do or, um, I don't know. I just very excited. Um, hope you guys liked my first review. Um, leave a comment, a like, subscribe, all that jazz. Um, going to be coming out with a month of content, um, you know, every day releasing a video. These reviews, I don't think they're going to count as the video per day, but, um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching, uh, subscribe, and, um, I'll be here next week reviewing, uh, 907. See you guys.